Hello again. Various headlines in the news yesterday claimed that the world's oceans were heating at an unprecedented rate and that this was disastrous. The BBC published a piece to which I give a link in the description to this video with the headline Ocean Heat Record Broken with Grim Implications for the Planet. It seems that the sea is hotter than it has ever been. We know this because international experts and scientists have told us that, to use a favourite expression, the science is settled. I'm not an expert in meteorology and know very little about climate and weather. I can, however, read and my memory is unimpaired. And I have for many years been in the habit of reading journals like Nature, Scientific American and so on. I remember what I've read in them and I'm able these days to access back issues online and compare them with what all the experts are saying now. This is sufficient to tell me that something very odd is going on. Walter Sullivan was known in the 1970s as the Dean of Science Editors as he was so good and reliable about what he used to write. In the New York Times on January the 5th, 1978, that is to say 45 years ago, he wrote a long piece for the New York Times in which he summarised information which had recently been published in a report in the British scientific journal Nature. Sullivan's article was headed International Team of Specialists Finds No End in Sight to 30-Year Cooling Trend in Northern Hemisphere. The gist of this was that all the available evidence from many different sources confirmed that the Northern Hemisphere was cooling and had been for at least 30 years. A temperature graph was included with the piece which showed how temperatures were falling. What is of interest is that specific mention was made of ocean temperatures, of uh, the measurement of temperature of the seas in the Northern Hemisphere. They were cooling. The sea temperature was dropping. Let me quote one or two parts from the article. Snow and ice cover in the Northern Hemisphere have greatly varied, but there has been a net increase according to a satellite photograph analysis by Dr. George J. Cookler of Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Geological Observatory. In other words, glaciers were getting bigger and so was the North Polar Ice Cap. Ice and snow were on the increase. Then we have average surface air temperatures recorded at 358 stations north of latitude 20 degrees south from 1951 to 1975 have been analysed by Drs. R. Yamamoto and T. Awashima of Kyoto University in Japan on re regional and season basis. A general cooling is evident with an intense cooling episode from 1961 to 1964. All the other data from a variety of sources agrees. The northern hemisphere had been cooling and was likely to continue doing so. There was no evidence whatsoever of rising temperatures and the graph that's included in the article shows the temperature going down from the Second World War right up until the late 1970s. When we are now showing graphs which are meant to illustrate how temperatures have been rising since the Industrial Revolution, there's no sign of this cooling. It's been airbrushed from history. The only evidence from global warming dates actually from the 1980s. Before that, the trend was all towards a cooler planet. What do viewers think has happened to all the data from the 1950s, 1960s and 1970s? Why do they think it's not mentioned or included in any accounts of modern climate change? Has everybody forgotten that Nature, the magazine, was convinced that global cooling was real as late as 1978? And did other scientific journals uh, get it all wrong as well because they also were including articles about global cooling? If they were wrong then, is it possible they could also be wrong now about 
the temperature rising. Don't take my word for any of this. Click on the link and read the article from the New York Times and then find a modern temperature graph showing the rising heat of the planet. I give one in the thumbnail to this video. It doesn't show any cooling in the years after the end of the Second World War, but merely a steady and unchanging trend before rising sharply after 1980. I do not go in for conspiracies much, but I cannot help but think that something odd is going on here.